Hello everybody and welcome on board this 2020 Beneteau Antar A9 for a good look around her interior in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means that all you need to do is click and drag or swipe and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around to your heart's content whenever you like. And we hope this really great idea will allow you to see what it's like on board this boat without actually being here. I will move the camera during the tour, so uh, some people have reported sensitivity to the camera movement. If you think that may be you, just avert your eyes when I'm going to move the camera and I will let you know when the camera is safely back down and you can join the tour again with me, but let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's have a look around this great boat, shall we? So first of all, you're in the cockpit and as you can see, what a lovely space. We've got a really nice and easy to come through or to traverse companionway here. Once we're in, we can close that nice and easily. We just close the gate there and in it is and in the pets and the kids are hopefully um the front seat here does slide back and forward if i just open that again when we raise and lower the engines when we raise the engines we just move the seat all the way forward like so engines raise out of the water when we put them back in the water we can move this back again which gives us more room in the cockpit very cunning design very nicely done Benito. we've got a really nice de uh, the cockpit here plenty of room great big lid here to lift up on gas struts all we need to do is move the table out of the way gives you access to a great big uh, call it a car boot it's a boat build really but there's access to the bills the tanks a few electrics etc but certainly lots of room to store all your bits and pieces for the weekend we have a gas locker here we have a couple of fish rod holders we've got a cockpit shower here cup holders cup holders lots to hold on to as we're moving around feeling like would be really nice and safe and then above us We've got a lovely cockpit tent, really, really nice material, just like the material on the seats and the helmet, etc. Feels really nice and modern, this boat does. Absolutely lovely. Great big area, plenty of headspace as well, and uh, generally a nice place to be. Keeps the weather out and gives you that extra bit of room on your boat. How good is that? So moving forward, you can see we've got a very lovely French windows here, closed with the action of one finger very very nice and easy and open again there we go all the way back doesn't protrude anywhere it wants it's out of the way it locks out of the way at sea and it's very nice and easy to get through there so you've got the outside joined with the inside you can go in and out to your heart's content people in there can speak to people in here or if you want to you can just close the door if you don't want to talk to anybody but so uh, very nicely designed indeed right then let's pick you up for the first time and I'll place you in the middle of the saloon where hopefully uh, I can articulate just how lovely this boat is. So as you can see, very nice and easy to get through. Tons of headspace here. I'm five foot nine and there's no way I'll reach up there. We'll start on the starboard side. We can see we've got the galley unit. So we lift up the, uh, the, uh, the what would be the cock cocktail table I think and there we go up it comes lift up the tap here gives us a nice sink unit here twin gas burning stove there and a couple of cup holders there and then underneath here you may not be able to see it there we've got a microwave we have stowage here we have stowage here as well nice big drawer there and we've also got a nice fridge underneath there for the all important tonics and diet cokes in my case but very nice indeed so let's put that back down again make it look all nice and beautiful again absolutely lovely on the port side we've got we've got the saloon table we've got seating but more about that in a moment let's have a look at the uh, the helm station first as you can see we've got a nice sliding door here great because you can bark your orders through there you can lean through and help because you've got the, the center cleat there if you want to or you can close the door on the weather and the people and just be on your own in here but uh, today I've got it open, we've got lots of breeze coming through, uh, which could be aided by the fact we've got a lovely great big opening window on the port side, we have a lovely great big opening hatch here, if I just open this, here we go, so we've got an insect screen there, and then we can put that back, and that gives us an opening hatch here, lots of air flooding through, absolutely lovely, so let's close that up again, back to how it was, there we go, nice and easy, great big windows all the way around, all the way to stern as well, so you can see through the cockpit tent, so great for visibility and what's keeping at sea really really important and everywhere you can uh, Benito seem to put in these windows which are non-openers but they've got uh, covers over them and uh, really do let in that extra amount of light as you can see around here again we've got contemporary upholstery uh, table 
uh, wood, we've got the flooring, etc. Feels really, really nice. Now, uh, I'll just talk about the helm station itself. Uh, I was doing that a moment ago, wasn't I? Lovely, lovely seats here, really nice and comfortable. If you want to sit down and stare, we can. If you want to stand up and stare, the bolster comes back like that so it can stand here at ease, just looking over the console. We've got uh, fuel stops here on the right hand side if you need them. And uh, at, at the actual helm here, if I just uh, sit on the seat, there we go. Put my feet on the nice rest here. Nice wheel, we've got to troll mode here, we've got bow up, bow down, we've got the bow thruster here. So really easy to control the engines and the bow thruster to get yourself alongside. Fly-by-wire throttles here, we've got the, uh, the Suzuki instrumentation here, electrical panels, uh, fusion stereo with a couple of nice speakers behind us, great view all around and the radio above us. Chart plotter here, we can, this is a nice modern unit so we can see everything we need to there and the compass in front of us as well. Really, really great, and again, not dislocated from, from everybody. We can talk to people there, we can even talk to people out in the cockpit as well. Absolutely lovely. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly move you again, so I'll just uh, pick you up and set you down there. You're safe to look back again. And quickly, I'm going to dismantle this compartment to show you what happens here. Very nice design idea, and uh, we fold the table up. It's, incidentally, this, this table does lower down to give us another double here if we would like. And uh, as I'm talking, you can see around us that we have got uh, curtains to the sides, curtains to the back as well for, for that little bit of privacy. Now here's the magic. So one-handed operation almost. It's, in fact, it is a one-handed operation. There we go. That turned around, and that means that we've now got forward-facing seating here, so you can sit here, keep your helm company, you can hold on to here, you can enjoy the fresh air, and you can enjoy the view as you're going forward rather than backwards, which is great. And then to put it back, there we go. We're back in position, and now we have forward facing seating, sorry, aft facing seating, just open the table up again and we've got a regular dining set up there for anybody who wants to sit and have their tea and here's the important cushions as well. How good is that? Really, really nice, very, very easy and the whole compartment feels really, really nice and, well, clean and easy to keep clean as well, so absolutely fabulous. Right, let's pick you up again and we'll go down the companionway into the lobby, here we go. I place you in the heads on the starboard side. Now, nice size compartment, probably about six feet of uh, head height there. Around you, you've got uh, you've got radius edges, etc., for nice cleaning. We've got an opening window here. We've got a window there that has a cover on it for privacy at the moment that can be taken off. Nice mirror. We've got nice wood in here, and it just feels nice and contemporary. Now, on the forward end, we've got a seat here which you can pick up, have out the way if you like, and uh, if we've got a nice. Uh, um, manual toilet under there, nearly forgot what it's called, there we go, a little bit of a toilet roll shelf perhaps behind, and if I just close the door here, you can see we've got uh, where the shower drains would drain away there, this is a shower head, so this pulls out, and we can clip that up somewhere up there, and have a nice shower, lovely, sink with storage underneath, storage to the right hand side as well, access to the electrics underneath the helm, generally speaking, a really nice compartment, and uh, would suffice for a long weekend, or perhaps even longer, very nice indeed, oh, I just noticed the shower holder, is there it is up there, right then, let's pick you up again, and whiz you forwards to the forward cabin, there we go, so you're in the forward most compartment, and how lovely is it? Chiefly because it's it's con contemporary, we've got nice wood, we've got nice upholstery all the way around, we've got nice stowages, port and starboard, we've got reading lights, nice big island bed which also splits like scissors, or it's called a scissor bed, opens up like that so you can have two singles if you want. Lights coming in through the side windows, which are a joy. We've got light coming in through the forward window and lights coming in through the hatch as well, which uh, also will allow air too. And we've got uh, covers for that hatch, covered for the forward hatch as well, so we can make it nice and dark in here with the addition of the curtains. Very nice. Now the head juts into this compartment on that side, doesn't jut in on this side, so they've built in a nice wardrobe there, so plenty of room in there for your longer items of clothing uh, on those longer trips. How fantastic is that? Love it. Okay, let's pick you up again and whiz you through, keep whizzing you everywhere, to the after cabin. Now, as with all boats, generally speaking, the uh, the cockpit moulding does protrude down here a little bit, where we have a, a little entrance vestibule here where we can close the door and get changed if we like. We have a shelf, shelf, cupboard here, fiddle shelf there, window, non-opener, and we have a cover for this as well, I think, somewhere, and we have another window here that's got a cover on it. Now, if I just duck down, there we go, I'll join you on the bed, and you can see we've got a window out here. I love looking out of these windows that are close to the sea, it's fabulous. But you get the general idea, there are a few bits and pieces being stored in here, but we've got a nice big wide mattress, nice long mattress, we've got uh, uh, 
cubby holes over there and down to the starboard side along there behind that that, that bulkhead there there's a little bit of engineering that uh, only the owners and I need to worry about that so we'll leave that to the engineers but nice um, nice size aft cabin good sized bed and you're generally only going to be in here sleeping although I think if you sat here if you wanted to read a book I think you would probably be okay with that so uh, very good so let's pick you up take you back to the saloon and we'll sum up by saying that this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers. He's taking you for a tour around this 2020 Beneteau Antares 9. Hope you've understood the layout. Hope you can see what a lovely boat she is. And more than anything, I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Do join us for more elsewhere on our YouTube channel where you find reviews in virtual reality of all sorts of different boats, different sizes, different layouts, etc. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Take care.